Enjoy this excerpt from our Monday mentorship call, The Pain of Discipline or The Pain of Regret. As Jim Rohn says, the difference is the pain of discipline weighs ounces compared to the pain of re regret that weighs tons. So anyway, I was thinking ROI. There's always a return on a good investment. And there's always a return on lack of discipline and regret. Uh, it's a feeling. It's a... Uh, and I'm not talking like I had a Dodge Magnum. And it was a... You know, I had a big uh, V8 motor. And I built it. I did put headers on it and pipes and a computer chip and an air intake system. And I don't even drive. But anyway... I did all that because it made it go faster, it sounded better, and uh, my girls were didn't even have their license yet. So this was a kind of car like it only had rear wheel drive, so you couldn't drive it in the winter. Well, <laughs> certainly if it was snowed. And, and uh, so I used to have it in a storage area paying a monthly fee. And I finally said, what am I doing? I need to sell this. And I sold it fast because it was a nice car. But then, like, you know, a couple years later, I felt some regret. Like, ah, you know, I shouldn't have done that. I should have done, you know. And, and that isn't really, well, no, that's not what we're talking about. Those decisions to not buy or bought something and that, that uh, buyer's remorse sets in or something. It's not that. This What we're talking about is a return on in, an investment, an investment of thinking something through. I want to go from where I am to where I want to be or do or have. And that is what takes some, some of the, no, it doesn't take some, it takes pure discipline to get the momentum going. But as we always say, Kristen, discipline turns into like not so much, uh I got to do this or that, it kind of becomes easier and over time it becomes a healthy habit. Usually we aren't designing some sort of discipline around getting unhealthy because we wouldn't need much discipline. For some reason that's easy. We would, we're not designing a program around, I'm going to watch two hours of Netflix seven nights a week and, uh, and I'll have no regret. You know, that's not what we're, we're always thinking of this around personal development, growth, whether it's business, uh, health, body, mind, spirit, whatever. And, and that's usually course correcting, pulling us from what we're doing, how we're doing it, and adding a new type of plan. And, uh, you know, and our brains get used to us being in a comfort in an area, I mean, that's what it's designed for, to keep us safe, comfortable, and things. So things aren't going so bad. Why do you got to add learning cameras and new songs on the guitar and growing a business? Why can't you just, lo I'll just go through? And when I do add and I go to go into it, it's like, hmm, you know, there's so many other things I should be doing and da, da, da. you know, the story begins because I'm getting, I'm going against the grain in a way. But when I go and I practice and watch that YouTube video and learn something on the guitar, I'm not good at it at first at all. Uh, I struggle to get the notes at times. I could easily in the first 15 minutes say, what? are you doing this for? You're never going to get this. Why don't you just stop and go back to what's familiar, not doing it. <laughs> but no, I say no, because I believe and I know from experience that over time and sticking to the discipline of say it's three nights a week, I want to for 30 minutes practice, do this one growth area. And, uh, you know, the first week is, to, but then I might just practice a little outside of that time and go, oh, it's starting. And over time, I mean, I have learned songs that no way before I understand principles of 
growth and how to get better and improve skills and things, no way could I have even fathomed because it was very, it, it's hard to, some people are like, wow, you can play that? And I'm like, yeah, but now it's unconscious competence. Like I can just do it without even, I could probably be, you know, doing something else at the same time. Because uh, that's what happens over time when we use this method. We become unconsciously competent. That means people that drive a car, people that do brush their teeth. <laughs> you know, it's not like, let's see, I got to move my hand and go, you know. I remember teaching the kids when they were little, they were like, yeah, it was hilarious. I'm like, no, you're not brushing your nose. <laughs> so anyway, it's all this, I can... I need to think about what return am I looking for? Is it more money? Is it, I don't know, more peace, more time off? Is it more time out in nature? And, and you know, things that I sit back and think, because the, the, um, there's a pain of discipline for sure. Absolutely. And going at it alone for me is not the best plan because I have a thinker that, has a great story on why it's a silly idea that's hard or you don't know how or god forbid you need to ask for help so i don't go at it alone i ask for some guidance accountability or things like that which then that can irritate me when somebody actually maybe asks for an update or pulls my covers a little i thought you were shut up <laughs> So anyway, that's, and, but always that breakthrough point. There comes a time when all of a sudden, it's not like that feeling of discipline. Like I certainly got disciplined as a kid in school and at home. That was a little different. Yes, that was consequences of my actions. But this is now me being in charge of disciplining myself, which I don't, I don't understand the uh, reptilian part of our brain that says, now, you know, stay safe. Don't learn that song. It might, it might scare you because, you, you know, and uh, I don't want to go with that story because the regret of going, I went over to this, my buddies, he had a bunch of people around and a few of the guys were at one place in the guitar. We, it's called the Grateful Shed. <laughs> and we meet in the grateful shed and we play and I wasn't as good but there was another guy that wasn't as really that good but the next time I went he was better than me and I thought that's not fair I said how did you get he goes oh I got more disciplined hmm because I felt the pain of regret that night like you know I should have why didn't I? I, you know, blah, 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 that story. And that story is never good. So he explained to me that he just chunked out X amount of time and he just followed through and it wasn't easy. And I'm like, I know that story. I apply that in other areas. So then the next time the Grateful Shed Night came around, I was much better and I felt more a part of included and stuff and and the only time I, when i didn't feel included it wasn't them saying hey dude you kind of suck still what's going on it was my thinking saying the regret i should have huh, huh, you know putting all those variables on me that were keeping me uh feeling sorry for myself so you want a good return on the investment of you of uh whether it's physical, and I've stepped up a few areas in my life. And Kristen, you you totally have. I mean, your output, your marketing, your content that you're pushing out is quite a bit more. You obviously to looked at something, and of course, I shouldn't share this because I, I just assume this is, and you said... How can I? What do I need to do? Where does it need to go on my calendar? And then, and I know I'm going to fight myself. I know it. Anytime I add something, I'm going to fight myself. It's, I've never started a new discipline and it was easy peasy. <laughs> nope. Because uh, if it was a discipline, it really 
it wasn't a discipline if it was easy, like, you know what I mean? It's always something that challenges, and it doesn't, even if it's strength, it's not my muscles. You, the next day, they're a little sore, and actually, I like that, like, yay, but... It's not my muscles that when I go down in the basement and it's not them saying, don't do this to us. You know, we're okay being the size we are and how much strength we have. We don't want to grow. They do. They like it. It's the mind again saying, oh, you don't want to overdo it. You're 56 now, you know, b buy into that narrative. And my new disciplines is hiking and getting out into the woods and taking some, bringing a camera and, you know, it takes work and thought and all this. And then, but, uh, oh, it's awesome. That feeling. And I know you people know this, that, that feeling that I break through that initial mind game of struggle. And then I get some momentum. I get some results. Thank you for watching. If you would like to learn more about Thriving Blind Academy, head on over to our website www.thrivingblindacademy.org